Well, made me some coffee. Woohoo! This is Sunday. It's all I work one day this week because of Charleston. Look at that good old coffee. Look at that. Mmm. <laughs> See how it tastes. Yeah, the way I like it, make it, I like getting that Dunkin' Donuts ground coffee and using the Lando Lakes half and half and then uh, four spoons of sugar. So it kind of, I think it kind of keeps everything moving, like helps with arthritis. I could be wrong, not medical advice. My wife's hungry. She's been sleeping today and we're going to go get something to eat. <laughs> so tomorrow, I probably got to start packing for Charleston again. She's pointing her finger at me. <laughs> She's being funny. My little beautiful woman. <laughs> this is the car we finally settled on. She said, you find it. I'm tired of looking. So I looked and looked and looked and finally found about 12. I was wondering if it was worth getting hazmat, so I, I was taking pictures of jobs that had hazmat on them just to see, thinking about it. Hey, what are you going to get to eat? I have no idea. All right. We're in the Waffle House, but I'm not getting anything to eat because my wife's got leftovers. Green beans, macaroni, and fried chicken. And that stuff, I could eat that every day. Bacon. I don't know why I always wind up taking my bread. Do you? Yes. Oh, you should you need to ask her. After we went to the Waffle House, my daughter fixed my wife this. I asked the lady at the Waffle House where to get a car. And she's been having to fight her crows. Crows are aggravating. Yep, we're going to go get a car today. We're going to go to Vic Bailey's in Spartanburg. And they're pretty good. The guy I'm talking to is Matt. I can't remember his last name, but I don't know how much you get for selling cars like this, but what they do, they have a program where people trade in the cars and instead of sending them straight to auction, they're called like cash cars, or if you got your own financing, but you just go up there and get them. And the car, I think is 62, but, um, it's gonna be like 600 extra with the fees and all, and then you don't have to worry about worry about meeting in a certain place or it's as is, and it was a trade-in, but it's a lot cheaper than you know 22, 24 thousand. She's still going. So we're going up here, and we done went about 12 miles. Hey, we well about nine miles, and then we we forgot the license plate. <laughs> So I had to go back to the house and get the license. I was all bad. But it's about two hours away from where we live. So we're going up there. And, and then you have to. In the only way. The only reason I was able to do this. Because we totaled the car. And you had I had full coverage. So the insurance gave us a payment. So I'm just going to swap it into the other car. And if your insurance has a deal. Where you can get grandfathered i've been with him like 20 something years or maybe longer than that since i was like 18 30 something years with state farm a different agent and they're pretty good and they had a program i was grandfathered so hopefully i don't plan on doing it but it, you know if you're a new person you get insurance and you're a bad driver like i used to be you had two or three wrecks or a lot of incidents they'll drop your insurance i know somebody that got dropped for using the towing feature too much so you know they don't play around it's gonna cost the money At the stop sign, but having full coverage is kind of nice in case your car happens and even if somebody hits you that don't have insurance it'll help cover that so here we go we got a long ride and then tomorrow we gotta go back to charleston to the hospital so if it makes it from i guess 100 miles if it makes 100 miles doesn't heat overheat or anything 
we're going to attempt to take this bad boy to Charleston and if we get it. They said there's one other person looking at it. So hopefully we'll make it. If we don't get it, it wasn't meant to be, but we're looking for a car and we're on the way. So yeah, buying a car is aggravating, but at least we get some nice scenery. I got the tag, I got my screws, but I don't have my registration, but he said he could look it up. You know, they're gonna do all this paperwork, so all I have to do is just get it, call my insurance, transfer the information to this car, well, if we get this one, and I'll have to do anything, unless somebody throws another log in the road or hits me or something. And the good thing about Big Bailey, they do a Carfax, and even though this one's had, it got hit in the back, minor damage, so, you look at it in the pictures, it looks good. So as long as the back door opens, and uh, we're looking at a Nissan Rogue. Wanted a Toyota Rav, but or Rave or whatever, but they're a lot more expensive than this one is. So hopefully this will be a good car. Read a bunch of reviews, been scared to death, been looking, looking. And the one I found this on was, I think it was Car Auto Trader. And you can download an app. There's all kind of apps you can do. Some of them have artificial intelligence. And some of them, if you know two brands you're looking for, you can put the price range, the brand you're looking for. And I mean, there was a bunch of cars if I wanted to go to New York or New Jersey or Indiana or Ohio, Dallas, Texas. You know, there's a whole lot of them on there, but that's just too far to drive to save you like $1,000. But, you know, if you was industrious, it save you some money if you had time and I guess you did this for a living but we're just doing this trying to survive so we have a car in case I'm at work or you know family of two you need two cars at least in case one falls out and you gotta put one in the shop it's always good to have two vehicles if you can do it you know if you don't have your horses where you ride to work or go to a dollar store but yeah man here we go good looking car it made it all the way we went about 230 miles so far this is tuesday that i'm doing an update the only thing about this drive is going through all these little slow country roads slow 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 yeah. what they do is they do things like exterior okay hey guys my name is matt gershio over at big bailey honda i'm also part of the honda hooligans on facebook i'm helping these fine couple here with a car they're going to be purchasing a 2014 road for me if you guys have any questions feel free to ask them about how we do business here but we are family oriented here cool thank you yeah. you got the bassmaster classic 2020 fishing rod and he shares a desk with this guy named his last name is bass which is kind of cool this desk is in the sun so they share the desk I thought he was being punished. But my last, the principal I had when I was in high school was Mr. Bass. So you might know him. Who knows? Yeah, we're at Vic Bailey Honda, and guess what? They're even going to put a whole tank of gas in the car and clean it. You know, probably wash it, take all the stickers off. So that's kind of cool. And they said the only thing that's wrong with it might have a tire sensor that's not communicating right. That's about it, and we only got one key, so I had to get another key. They've been in business for 50 years, or close to it. And the guy, Matt, is real cool. He's a vet, military vet, so go oorah to the Air Force. Selling this car up here at Big Bailey. And then we're gonna go to the Sonic. And, I mean, not the Sonic, my bad. What's the Beacon, the Spark Mer. We ain't ate there. Like 20 something years before our children were born. Before and we, we even got married. Before we got married, I wanted to go. So we used to be spontaneous go more, but. That's you know, what we were doing at Fort Worth. Looking for me some stuff for my wedding. Yeah, we was looking for wedding stuff. And I think uh, we come back to Sparkbird for my senior project in electronics engineering technology. I had to get a little electronics kit, you know. And they had all the circuit boards. I just had to make my own circuit which is pretty cool people used to do that make their own stuff but i don't even think that store is here anymore and the whole town of spartanburg right where we're at it's like they they cut a mountain out and there's hills and go here and all over the place it's just like somebody 
drove all over the countryside a bunch of four wheelers and they just made roads out of it. And it's kind of old town, railroad, so it's kind of a neat little town we're in. We were talking about Kias. And he said, you know, KIA, he wouldn't buy any car that had killed in action or killed in appraisal. Because, <laughs> you know, a lot of people are pushing Kias now saying they're gay cars. But he said, oh, no, they lose, like, a lot of money when they do the trade-in. So they do Carfax here, which is pretty cool. Top dealer. And they do that stuff down there with the fake coffee. <laughs> Look at that. These are pins we signed in the paperwork with. We got a beacon restaurant. Look at that menu. Though. My beautiful wife. You gotta go order here. We ain't been here in 20 something years. We're ordering here at Beacon. Uh, you don't need this. I'll share with you. I know you got to go to open it, I think. Pick up the center field. Go down, baby. Yeah, thank you. Excuse me. What are you Got you. Do you have anything on your chili cheeseburger? No, just plain. I got mayonnaise on mine. I got a double chili cheeseburger with mayonnaise. Yeah, chili cheeseburger. Yeah, man, I got some fries. Got you. What'd you get? Where do you get ketchup in? Ketchup, there's some out there in the, each of our rooms on the table. Okay. You'll see it out there. Yeah, fries are up. We've got the fries on your room. All right. Pretty good. Okay. What you got, guys? Beacon restaurant. And we got these some pork. Yeah, so I brought my own coffee. We got cheeseburger. Ketchup. At the Beacon in Spartanburg. 
Yeah, they gave her uh, sweet tea with lemon. I thought she got into the things. I see the bag open. So we got in here and got plenty of room. This is the big boy room. Cause that, that little table behind us, I bought broken ribs sitting in it, so tight. We, hold on, we come to the beacon, the car. All right, we come to the beacon in Spartanburg. We've been here like three times. It's pretty good. The thing that kind of disappointed me, we wanted, they got ice cream and we was gonna get some ice cream. And then the lady that serves ice cream said, after we done left and walked out, she said, well, I need a break too. So, you know, she seen us up there and didn't say nothing to us till we walked out. She said, well, I need to get a break too. I shouldn't be up there making ice cream and not get no break. And, uh, you know, they told us, put a little sign or something, you know, and then uh, my wife wanted unsweet tea. And then they said, well, she grabbed it from the town. They're all sweet. I mean, they want a very, very toxic environment. They just very toxic up here. Everybody's wanting to blame everybody for everything. So uh, if you want friendly service, I wouldn't recommend it, but food's okay. You know, my bread was so soaked with grease through it off, but it's all right. But you know, I'd eat here about once every 20 years if I could help it. So yeah, it's not really home to brag home about. How do I see this tape? I'm saying that. How do I see this tape? You like your car, baby? Oh, yeah. Yep. We got a 2014 Nissan Rogue. <laughs> yep. We got the Nissan Rogue. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> I got a pee. Yeah, we bought the car. My wife's already took it over. Hopefully, she won't rate today. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're probably thinking, well, hey, Barney got so much going yep, on. Yep, she's behind me. Be over here by himself. See James, look at this. So now this is just the living room. Now what all has it got? It's got a two bedroom. She's got a two there. bedroom up there. She's got a two bedroom upstairs, a kitchen. And a bath. And this is called low income housing, son. And this, this is my great niece, what's her name? Natalie. This is my great niece Natalie. We know you She's one year old today. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Natalie. I got you on video. Yeah, my little niece. My little niece, and she's taking my wife's phone. Look at that. She done figured out how to use the phone already. One years old today, and already master at technology. Yep. My wife wanted to eat here. She thought it was country cooking. It's a, it's a Chinese place. But I got chicken and broccoli and some chicken wings. We're on our way to Charleston. And I was going to trim my beard. My wife don't want me to because I get hair all over the place. I don't know. I don't know what to do. <laughs> we got some chicken wings, chicken and broccoli, chicken and garlic, and egg rolls, unsweet tea, and of course the coffee. Peanut butter roll, peanut butter cookies, mm. a brownie, Hawaiian wedding cake, coconut cake, sour cream and onion chips. <laughs> All right. Little brake shop. It is. They got automated thing that stops the traffic during construction. Now I know somebody's got a remote that punches it. it says stop here on res. Let me pull up a little bit more. Maybe I don't know I'm here yet. Maybe stop before you try to run over it. <laughs> well. And nobody coming the other way, so I guess the robots don't do any good. It's like a manual. I think that tractor's taking up the whole road. The red light. There comes the truck, finally. Yep. Let's stop here on red. So all the other cars coming from the other way. <laughs> When you can't get nobody to work, you have to hire a robot flagger. After the traffic cleared up coming from the other way, I seen the guy step out in the truck. It's kind of halfway between both of the robot flags, and he had a 
remote control where he lifted the gate up. So a, a person had to do it. They just didn't have to be right there at it. But he was he's probably a good 500 feet away. So that's, that's impressive that they were able to do that. And he could just do it from his truck, you know. But you got to really pay attention because it's real little seeing that far away. Hey, man. My car come with XM Radio. Well, we finally got to our hotel room. <laughs> Believe it or not, I checked the bed this time. I didn't see any dirt or whatever it was or dog hair all over the bed. So, you know, that was nice. <laughs> Maybe they held this room for me all week. And the bed was broke. This bed was broke that I'm on now, and they fixed it. So it might have just come undone. And um, that's the only thing. The shower's probably still ate up. But we got the same exact room we had last week. Do, 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 Now we're going to go to T-Bones. I'm kind of full. <sighs> but I kind of want a steak. But I got cheesecake. I guess I can eat it tomorrow. Maybe at the hospital. I don't have to eat. Yeah, I don't know. The hospital, we'll be up there tomorrow. And, you know, Crystal, my wife has to have her surgery again this time hopefully they'll do it they didn't do it last week because they said she had like 10 pounds of fluid on her she weighed 160 and then she weighed 150 the next day now she weighs 148 so now she's not eating and i said we just eat so i kind of don't want to really eat tonight because i'm kind of full we just had chicken and broccoli and chicken wings so i might just eat that I don't know if I eat the cheesecake or not. <laughs> then I had those chocolate balls and part of the cookies. I really don't need to eat nothing else tonight. I didn't know he was going to T-Ball. And my wife's got all her food she didn't eat earlier. Because she, she nibbles, she wastes food. But yeah, today she's been so nervous and she's bipolar as all get out. And today has been rough. She's been fussing and griping and saying, I want my mama to do this. I want my mama to do this. And you know, especially when we got down to Charleston, because if you don't take the right lane, it loops you around this way, it loops you around that way. She said, you ain't listening, do a U-turn. There's all these cars coming, like five o'clock traffic right here. And I said, I can't just turn in front of all these cars. I said, we just got this car yesterday. So yeah, I gotta do some more driving. So yeah, it's been it's been kind of frustrating, but about makes me wanna go back to work. <laughs> at least it's peaceful, you know, or at least somebody say something, you didn't, you didn't care what they said. But uh, they're rough, man. They were up, but here, here we are. Hope everything goes all right. It's about 5.48, and we're in Charleston on Tuesday before the tomorrow's surgery. So I just wanted to document it. But anyway, hopefully everything goes good tomorrow. And thank you all for watching this long video, and hope you all are doing okay. And we're just trying to make it, you know, and hope you all make it too. Talk to y'all later. After the traffic cleared up coming from the other way, I seen the guy step out in the truck. It's kind of halfway between both of the robot flags, and he had a remote control where he lifted the gate up. So a person had to do it. They just didn't have to be right there at it. But he was he's probably a good 500 feet away, so that's, that's impressive that they were able to do that, and he could just do it from his truck, you know. But you got to really pay attention because – it's real little seeing that far away.